Hey developers, today I'm gonna to show you a typical day as a senior software developer. So I'm gonna show you some of the things that I go through and I'm gonna talk about some of the things that I work on every day. Hey, and if you don't know, my name is Eric. I'm a full stack developer with several years of experience. So uh, if you like these type of videos, make sure you click that like button and that subscribe button. And before we begin, a word from our sponsor. Before we begin, let me thank our sponsor, webdoc.io. Webdoc.io is a VPS hosting solution that uses special Linux containers. Linux containers is a new way of running your virtual machines and it's much faster than classical virtualization. So WebDoc is a new VPS hosting provider and they use the Linux containers with fast SSD drives to make them much faster than most of their competitors out there. So with WebDoc, you can create your perfect virtualized servers. You can configure it however you want and they actually give you a free Let's Encrypt SSL certificate too. Another reason you should use WebDoc is that it gives you a lot of free backups that a lot of other providers don't. So please check out webdoc.io and just for you guys who are watching this video, if you use the coupon code program with Eric, you'll get one free month. So click on that link below, sign up for it for your one free month. It's awesome and amazing. Check it out. Okay, so this is how my day goes and I'm gonna tell you in a series of pictures. I know a lot of other channels actually have the person go through the entire day, but I thought it'd be a little different. If you like this type of video, let me know and maybe I'll, uh, I'll show you a little bit more into my day-to-day -day life. But usually it begins around seven o'clock. I wake up in the morning. This is pretty much how I look <laughs> like. I'm not a morning person, but uh, I have to get up around 6.30, 7 every day uh, to get to work. So uh, I'm not a coffee person. I don't drink any caffeine. I just pretty much uh, get up, I pack a lunch, and I'm out the door usually about uh, 7.30. And I get to work around eight o'clock. Uh, so as soon as I get in around eight o'clock, this is pretty much what I'm doing. So I'm working on software. So uh, I find that the most productive part of my day is usually the first couple hours in the morning. So I, I don't know, something about being in sync with, with what, I want to, what I need to do, it makes it really useful, uh, really helpful for me. So I usually just uh, grab a yogurt, I'm eating it and coding at the same time. And I usually do that for the first two hours of the day. So until about 10 o'clock, and that's when I have my first meeting of the day, and that's uh, a daily stand-up. So in this daily stand-up, I um, there's usually a bunch of us. We are um, since we're sort of remote, we actually all um, use a conference call into a Google Hangout or Zoom call, and this is where we tell everybody what we've worked on for the day, if we um, are have any blockers and anything we plan on working on in the future. So everybody in the team takes a few minutes just to talk about what they're working on. Sometimes it's quick as 30 seconds, so it's pretty quick for each person. So usually it takes about 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, if you wanna know a little bit more about agile practices, uh, I'll, I'll, I think I'm gonna do a, another video on that, but uh, that's what it is. And one of the pieces of software that we use is Jira. So this has like uh, Kanban boards and you have stories and you have bugs and you have epics. And this is basically a way that you can track progress in a project. So there's a lot to this, but that's what we do. So we do that for around 15, 20 minutes. And then usually after this, it's around 10, 15, 10, 20. So I usually take a, a walk. I like to get some exercise in. So especially if it's a nice day out, I head out, take a walk around the neighborhood, um, take a walk around the buildings, just kind of get a little bit of sunshine, get a little bit of exercise because sitting down for eight hours a day is really bad for you. And I think this is one small thing I can do. Uh, then usually between 10.30, 10.40 to noon, um, usually this is a lot of times where I have other meetings. So um, there's actually a myth out there that higher level you get as a software developer more and more code, uh, more and more meetings you're in and less code you write. I found that I still write a ton of code, but I am in more meetings. And in fact, many days I don't even have a meeting during this time, but sometimes uh, 1040 to noon, there's sometimes some sort of meeting happening that I have to be involved in or that I should be involved in. And then I go in and, and talk to, to people and give my explanation. And one thing at my company is we try to make sure we only have meetings that are worthwhile. So we don't try to have meetings for the sake of having meetings. Um, I, I don't have any problem going to them. I think it's useful. Um, but if I don't have a meeting, then this is the second block of time I, I just code. 
and try to try to get back into the, the swing of things. You know, I've tried in the past doing like 23 or doing Pomodoro technique where you take every 20 or 30 minutes, you take a break. Uh, usually that doesn't work for me. I just kind of go straight through and work. So that leads us to about around lunchtime. So I have between 12 and one, I have lunch. Uh, I wish I was as healthy as this. I usually pack a lunch, but sometimes I go out to eat. There's just tons of fast food places, which is terrible for me, but that's, that's sometimes what I do. But I just try to eat a real healthy lunch uh, if I can. And then uh, plenty of times though, I eat at my desk. So I try to do some more work while I'm eating um, or catch up on emails or something like that. So especially if we have a tight deadline, I might just work through my lunch and eat and program and code. And then uh, between one to two is kind of time where I usually answer emails. I might do code reviews, I uh, research, I might even do some research. I might look up YouTube videos. I might uh, look up some videos and just kind of soak in some knowledge. Uh, once again, this is dependent if I'm on a really strict deadline and I have a story that's due the next day, I might limit this to maybe just half hour of just going through my emails. Other times I might take the whole full hour. Uh, I just saw this comic, you know, how to make a good code review. At least we don't need to obfuscate it before shipping. If you don't know what code reviews are, um, usually you have uh, some version control system like Git or GitHub. People have these things called pull requests, which are people post their code to GitHub and then other developers look at the code and they, uh, and they review it. And it's kind of an art form reviewing code. You don't wanna be too nitpicky, but you also don't want to just approve everything without looking at it at all. So you, it takes a little bit of uh, practice to do that. But that's usually what I do. And of course, answering emails could be a whole hour long if I need it. Then, uh, so yeah, YouTube is eventually, sometimes I just browse some other cool YouTube channels to see what else is out there. And there's usually a good TED talk or a good programming talk that I might watch for a little bit because it's a good idea to continuously learn. Then I look at, um, then this is probably the, uh, the second half actually between two to 3.30 is uh, more coding time. So, uh, so this might be time also, if I can, I might do some pair programming with somebody. Uh, pair programming is where I would sit with another developer. We sit side by side each other or online and one person's the navigator and one person is on the machine and the navigator kind of tells the other person that's on the machine what to do. And then so it kind of has this feedback loop. It's nice to catch bugs. Uh, we don't do it too often, but it's kind of a nice thing to do to, to help out with uh, code bugs and, and things like that. And also it makes your code reviews way easier if you paired with somebody because you know exactly what was happening the whole time. But usually this between two to 3.30 is, is a good chunk of time. You know, I've, I'm after lunch, I'm not sleeping anymore. You know, I've got a little exercise, I get my brain working again. It's a good time to get some coding in. Then uh, between 3.30 and 3.45 around there, I usually do like a second walk of the day. It's my second break. So uh, once again, if I'm really busy, I'll skip this, but usually I like to get a little bit more exercise in. Um, if I can, I sometimes, um, sometimes during my lunch, I'll actually replace this and actually go somewhere in my lunch to work out. Um, but if I hadn't done that, I'll just not, I'll just do a quick run or a quick walk somewhere and just get a little bit more exercise in, listen to a podcast. The second half uh, between 345 and 445 is just coding time. So this is actually kind of how I feel sometimes. There's just so many different technologies and things you can do. Um, I try to get a, a pull request in almost every day if I can. Um, but depending on what I'm working on, sometimes it'll take two or three days. So if I can, I try to get it in before the end of the day. So that way people the next day can, can do the review on it. So this, this is usually a pretty productive time um, between 3.45, 4.45. And usually the last, uh, between 4.45 and 5, I try to scale down a little bit. Uh, I try to wind down because the worst thing is, is you hit five o'clock and you're right in the middle of some huge programming problem and you need to finish and you can't because you want to stay another half hour because you almost got it, but you have obligations at home and I have a family, so I can't just stay all night. 
So usually about 3.45, I try, or 4.45, I just try to wind down. I check some more emails. I reply to some people. I, if something I was putting off for the day, I try to finish it off at the end of the day. And then uh, after that, I uh, go home. I usually have between 5 and 8.30 where I'm with the family. We have dinner. Um, that's family time. And then usually 8.30, somewhere around 9 o'clock to around 11 is my time where I work on my side projects like YouTube and and I work on uh, books and videos and all sorts of things. So that's that's my other time that I, I really work on it. Doesn't give between nine and 11, it's only a couple hours. So I have to be super focused to get anything done. And there's certainly some days I take off, but usually that's that's my day. So, and then I start it all over again. The next day I'm, I'm tired and, and I start it all over again. Weekends, uh, a lot different, but that's, that's typically what my day is like. Uh, let me know if you guys are in software development or how your day is. I'd love to hear it below. Leave a comment with what your day is like. Let me know how things are going. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure you click like, click that subscribe button, share it with your friends. That helps me out. Thanks. Bye.